Yeah, I mean, it's just like this past like week, week and a half has been so absurd. I don't even know what the word for it is. Like, I feel actually that there's probably a good Yiddish word, but like, it's like a Kaput. combination. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's like a combination of like a circus. It's just like feels like complete mayhem. So like a lot of different veins of things happened this week. And I'm basically just going to go through them. And I have some clips to play and I have some stuff to read from. I'm so, so excited. We'll start... It's going it, really to be good. Mench. Yeah, I think it's going to be good. Okay. So the first. Is it a mench? <laughs> a mench. <laughs> no. You're a mench. You're a mench. Your mama's a mench. Okay. So the first one is that Trump spoke at the Boy Scouts annual jamboree. Okay. So I'm going to play a clip from it. And I've, I've edited together different pieces. So it, these didn't happen in succession, but. They kind of go together. It's only like two and a half minutes. Ready? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the president of the United States, Donald J. Trump. The fake media will say President Trump smoked. Uh, and you know what this is. President Trump spoke before a small crowd of Boy Scouts today. That's some, that is some crowd. Fake media, fake news. By the way, just a question. Did President Obama ever come to a jamboree? And we'll be back. We'll be back. The answer is no, and but we'll be back. And I'll tell you what, we are indeed making America great again. What's going on is incredible. We had the best jobs report in 16 years. The stock market on a daily basis is hitting an all-time high. We're going to be bringing back very soon trillions of dollars from companies that can't get their money back into this country, and that money is going to be used to help rebuild America. We're doing things that nobody ever thought was possible, and we've just started. It's just the beginning, believe me. You know, in the Boy Scouts, you learn right from wrong, correct? You learn to contribute to your communities, to take pride in your nation, and to seek out opportunities to serve. You pledge to help other people at all times. In the Scout Oath, you pledge on your honor to do your best and to do your duty to God and your country. And by the way, under the Trump administration, you'll be saying Merry Christmas again when you go shopping, believe me. Merry Christmas. Oh my God. They've been downplaying that little beautiful phrase. You're gonna be saying Merry Christmas again, folks. Oh my god, I wish you could see my face right now. <laughs> oh my god. First, I have, I... Can you stop <laughs> eating your bread? No, it helps me through these difficult times. Okay, um... Holy shit. <laughs> First of all, do they always play that kind of music? Yeah, that's like the presidential song. When are we going to stop doing that? Because it really feels like when we do that... It's reverential. 
it sounds so old and outdated. It's, it's <laughs> like I, I I feel like I I just felt like I honestly just felt like I was listening to a clip from a like from fifty years ago. Well, yeah, it is especially because it's at a Boy Scouts jamboree, and there was like forty thousand people there. You know, it's like a bunch of What's Boy Scouts. It's like a celebration. Okay, so just the music aside, because the music is not connected to this to Trump particularly, right? That's just what American presidents, what we play. Because we're just ridiculous, like, grandstand band country. What the fuck is going on? Part of my shock, I think, is coming from the fact that I, like, I tend not to listen to this kind of thing, ever. So I just don't have a lot of context for it. The other part of my shock is coming from the fact uh, that was definitely Trump speaking, right? Like, (laughs) yes, like, I took, I watched the video and I took clips from it. (laughs) You thought maybe it was like a comedian doing an impersonation. Yes. I like, I'm having trouble believing that that is real. Like the whole thing all to, oh, okay. So starting with the fake news comment being the first thing that he says. Remember I edited things. So that wasn't the first thing. He started just by being like, thank you for having me here. He like thanked a bunch of people, but that was one of the things he said within it. And pretty soon out of the gate, he said, he brought it up twice. He brought it up like they're going to say the crowd is small, like probably two minutes in. And then I think that clip was from later. So has Obama been to a jamboree? (laughs) I guess not. According to Trump. come on. (laughs) Obviously that's not the person that we should be. (laughs) I don't, the answer know. Is I don't nope. know. Oh Let's wait, see. so a couple of things I noted. Obama. Is that- also, like, why is the Boy Scouts Jamboree like the uh, standard for presidential appearances? <laughs> if you haven't been to Jamboree, then you're just not a real president. You're really just not part of the people. No, but he's like, I, obviously, I get what he's saying. A, I seriously doubt if he's at the Jamboree that Obama wasn't at the Jamboree. Like, that's whatever. And it doesn't matter. Uh, and B. Oh God, it's just it's so childish to come to do that too. Wait, hold on. I just I found it an uh, article titled "Watch President Obama's Message to the 2010 Boy Scout Jamboree." All right, hold of course on. he's been to the fucking jamboree. Jesus. The answer is no. The answer is no. No. I actually thought that was Alec Baldwin. Trump was correct that Obama never attended the jamboree in person, but Obama did record a video message for the 2010 jamboree, which marked the Boy Scouts' centennial celebration. You know what? That's not good enough, Obama. That's not good enough. We're going to need your physical presence I mean, at the jam. Buree. I just... <laughs> at the jam. I just, like, if a president doesn't go to a jam, then I just don't feel secure that they really care about the American people. Yeah, because obviously the Boy Scouts is basically where we raise good Americans, where we grow them. Right. Seed right. <laughs> and water, flower. Exactly. Well, the the one, obviously the one comparison, and you should go and listen to like more of it because it's like he, he basically like oscillates between praising the Boy Scouts, which is nice. It's like a triumvirate. He, sa- he says nice things about those Boy Scouts. He talks in those really gentle terms about finding what you're passionate about, doing that, because then it will never be work. And then he talks about like his political stuff. So he like talks about killing Obamacare and he talks about the election, of course. And then there's one part where he tells this story about this formal, former like real estate person. Um, and he's like, and then he had a pretty good life, you know, he, he, you know, he sold his company and he had a yacht and well, I'm not going to tell you what he did. Cause you guys are boy scouts. Oh my God. Yeah. It's pretty ridiculous. So the fallout from this is that the chief of the boy scouts or whatever it's called, like apologized on behalf of him. And then of course, a bunch of people made the comparison between him, between the Hitler youth and this youth, situation, yeah. which obviously well, that. Yeah. yeah. But because, because all the youth organizations have a creepy side and everyone knows it. And yeah. The Boy Scouts are not, like, exempt from that. Um, no, and they've had, like, really fucked up shit about, like, it, it was, like, the, they didn't integrate until the 70s, I think. And they didn't allow, like, gay kids and gay... Um, what about black people? That, that's why I said integrate until the 70s. Oh, I'm sorry. I, didn't, I don't... Sorry, I didn't know that was a term. Excuse me. I'm you don't know what integration means? Oh, I guess I do yes, know what it do. means. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just didn't it's just I, in this context it was confusing i thought I, when you said it i was thinking gender but that doesn't make sense because there's girls oh no <laughs> um but yeah and then just like they had they didn't allow uh kids to be openly gay or oh, scout yeah. leaders to be openly gay and up until like a few years ago i think but but okay so a couple of things that 
in that clip was that he said the well i know he's talking about his administration but it's still like funny this like royal we thing that he was using when he was like no he was never here but we'll be back we'll be we'll back we'll be back we're here <laughs> we, we love it we me and my toupee are here and we'll be back we'll be back that's like his ideal situation though like a 40,000 children just cheering for him because like they don't know what the fuck he's talking about but they can pick up on the cues of other people in the audience and like when they're supposed to cheer and like I didn't play any of this but in times where he's not speaking people there's one time where people say start chanting we love Trump we love Trump and another time where they start saying USA USA fucking crazy um wait one thing I want to ask is just a quick analysis of the Christmas comment What he's saying is that everyone's like that it's it's basically like an anti PC thing, right? He's like saying if you're Christian, you're allowed to just assume that everyone else is Christian because not assuming everyone is Christian would be too PC. Is that right? Yeah, just like the switching to happy holidays. It's like we're gonna it's a war on Christmas and we're gonna start saying Merry Christmas again. But like Okay, but but let's like what what? Like so you're supposed to assume that everyone is Christian? I don't want to like go into analyzing the okay sorry the, the psyches fall- of so people why does who got- care about saying Merry Christmas versus Happy Holidays. But who 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 why did they apologize? Because he because he actually because he's insane. I mean, isn't that? Isn't I mean, that Trump didn't. Trump, Trump, Trump didn't. Trump didn't apologize. Yeah, but he's at the Boy Scouts. Like you can't get up there. Basically, the the chief. I I want to say his. It's a chief, but whatever. The the head of the Boy Scouts issued an apology for like his political rhetoric that he used like you're not supposed to be politicizing the boy scouts it's a sacred institution the boy scout 